All of the works in the show are cast resin. I paint them in large rubber molds that are parallel to the floor. And then I'm mixing a clear resin and adding colorant and pigment. I'm not seeing the facade of the painting until the next day, at which point there's no correction possible. It's finished, you can't reliquify the resin, it's, it's fixed. Maybe different results happen in small, medium, large, different formats. What's possible in a small painting is different than covering a large surface area. And since, of course, I paint these all myself, everything is related to the size of the body and the length of a brush stroke. And of course, because resin is something that's catalyzing very quickly, every sort of move is working against time. I have been thinking a lot about music and improvisation, which isn't limited to music, but very distilled in music. I think the point of improvisation or spontaneity is about getting to a place that um, you did not know existed before. Being in a zone or sort of flow to go in directions that you don't necessarily know or create um, problems that you then have to solve. These are more about that process than about being a predetermined result. Painting doesn't exist in a vacuum that's complete on its own. I think it is completed by it existing in space, existing in a context, existing by being seen by individuals who bring to it their own interpretation and subjectivity. Even though these are very unconventional objects in terms of what one would expect a painting to be in the sense that there's no topography of brushstroke, they're very flat, there's not a lot of uh, sheen. It's important to me that um, they're viewed within a context of painting by setting it up that uh, you're using kind of your own biases and history and information about painting when you come to the object. I made these after the paintings that are in the main exhibition space. These are using a lot of similar techniques that I've been using for the last 10 years, basically, of layering paints that are drying at different speeds and creating situations where there's going to be different sort of changes that happen after I finish actually touching the work and being interested in how pictorially the things that I'm investigating in the resin paintings aren't necessarily limited to that process.